Conference second place team Spartans taking on fourth place Snyder, and we're scoreless in the first period. Number four on the bottom of your screen, Jacob Kiesler. He grabs the rebound, hits the back of the net. That's his third goal of the season. Snyder, they're up 1-0. Moments later, it's Homestead's Jonathan Van Gessel bringing the puck up. Working in the corner, he feeds it towards the net. Freshman, Wyatt Berthold, he gets the goal. We're tied at one. The Panthers respond with number 13, Brendan Lewis. He entered the game tied with Spartans Paul Lee with the conference best 18 points. The senior gives Snyder back the lead 2-1 with seven minutes and three seconds left to go in the period. Two minutes later, off the faceoff, it's Lewis on the breakaway. He gets his second goal of the game in his 10th of the year. Panthers, they extend their lead to two goals. But there's just no quitting with Homestead as Van Gessel feeds the puck along the boards. Berthold, he comes up with it, and from behind the back of the net, sophomore Paul Lee, he gets the backhander to go, and the Spartans are within one. Just over one minute remaining in the period. Van Gessel out in front, his shot goes wide. Andrew Lee, his shot's off the mark. On the other end, it's Lewis who winds up, but his slap shot is stopped by goalie Nick Ron. He had 18 saves in the game. Final seconds, and Van Gessel looking in front of the net. Max Dvorak, he picks it up. We're tied at three with 5.1 seconds left to go on the clock. On to the second period, and Snyder's working in Homestead's zone. Number 10, freshman Spencer Geelig, he's got the shot. Number 77, Evan Temple, he finds the puck and slaps it in for the go-ahead goal. 4-3 Panthers, and it would remain that way until the third period, when the Spartans, well, they decided they'd had enough. Number 19, Rob Lee, he ties it up at four. Then his brother, Paul Lee, he gets his second goal as Homestead takes the 5-4 lead. Three minutes later, there's seven minutes left to go in the game. Rob Lee out in front. That's another goal. Moments later, Tyler Eichstatt posting up. Homestead, they are rolling. Rob Lee with the shot. He follows his shot. He had three goals in this game. Homestead, they go on to win it. Eight to four. I was just fortunate to get um, come back in the zone and get the puck and get a nice pass from uh, John Van Gessel. And I just broke it out and I just heard the bench call and skate it, skate it. I took it down and I just I found a little seam short side and hit it. And it's a big spark for the team and I think it got us going. We were very fortunate to stay with them the way we were with the style of hockey we was playing. And if it wasn't been for Paul stepping off the bench there every once in a while and giving us a spark we would have been in big trouble. We started off strong, and then after the, they got two quick goals at the end of the period, and then after that second period, we just gave up. That's about all that happened. We had a real quick start on them. That was our game plan, to jump on them quick, and hopefully they'd fold a little bit, but uh, unfortunately, they're a real talented team, and they, they persevered. The big win against Carroll was a big confidence booster for us, yeah. They've been our rival for I don't know how many years, and uh, we haven't beat them yet this year, but. It was real nice beating them this or this last weekend. We feel pretty good. We're pretty hot right now. We're all playing real good together and just young. 